Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a full face using all new e.l.f. Electric Mood Collection products. e.l.f. actually sent me their entire collection, which thank you so much e.l.f. I truly appreciate this because I'm able to try everything out for you guys and show you what I think is worth checking out or not. This collection is exclusively at Target. Target. You guys can see. Before we get started, I do really want to introduce myself for those of you guys who are new to my channel. Hi, welcome. My name is Jessica, aka The Mexican Beauty. I make videos on all things beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. I would love for you to go hit that subscribe button down below. Also, please don't forget to turn on those post notifications because that will make sure you never miss one of my videos. Also, please don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, The Mexican Beauty, and also TikTok, The Mexican Beauty, because whenever I'm not here on YouTube, I'm posting some really amazing content over on those platforms. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So basically what they did with the Electric Mood Collection, they partnered with three different artists um, and they all came out with beautiful collections. So three little collections. And we're gonna be using all the eye products from all three collections right now on the face. So I'm just taking it out of the box. Okay, so this one is the Elf to Flow brush and the Elf to Flow um, brow pomade. So let me just go ahead and see how this pomade looks like. So this is what the pomade looks like. And basically what you would just do is you would use the little brush and just kind of brush the hairs into place so that they do not go anywhere. Brushing them exactly where they need to go. So I'm just gonna start off by priming my lids. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. Look how stunning this is. I love the presentation. I love the color of the palette. It's so nice. So today I definitely want to play with color. Um, I just feel like, ooh, I really wanna play with the purples because it's about to be football season and I'm a Ravens fan, Ravens are purple. But I also really wanna play with these blues because these blues are giving me life. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to start off with the yellow in here. And I'm gonna be taking this yellow in yellow tie and I'm gonna be placing it all on the crease. I'm impressed how much the color pops because typically yellows, you can tell right away if it's a good yellow or a bad yellow because sometimes the yellows will not pop. When I see a yellow like this, I'm like, okay, you better give me the pigment because if you're this bright in the pan, you better be this bright on my eyes. Now we're gonna be moving into a more brownie tone closer to like the tight area of the crease. So we're gonna be going in with Latte. And I'm just placing that literally really in the center of the crease to kind of create a little bit of depth in those creases. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna go in with a little bit of a deeper brown mixture. So we're gonna be taking braided and browning. Now we're gonna move on to the pop of the eye. So we're gonna be going in with that blue in winter. It's really pretty. This is gonna be a pain to remove my lash extensions. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the brown shade that we went in with. So we're gonna take these two browns and we're just going to wrap up the look on this side. But I'm gonna be taking the yellow shade again because I do wanna intensify because I do feel like the yellow does kind of lose its flair once you apply so many different shadows. So I like to always go back with the bright color and just intensify it so it gives me that extra pop. The one thing I will say about e.l.f. is that they do a really good job of making collections for different types of people. So for example, like the Jen Atkin collection that they did was really great for the everyday person who likes those very wearable colors. And then it's fun to see when they come out with collections like these where they're like a little bit more of a pop, more of like a fun moment. Um, I think those are just so cool. So in case you look at this and you're like, that doesn't look like something that would be up my alley, bright, too many glitters, then there's other collections that are really great that you can try out. Okay, so we do have a black shade here, which I'm actually really happy about. It's called Heart of Man right here. And I'm just gonna take that and do a little wing. You guys know that I love doing my baby wings. So we're going to be doing a little baby wing. Okay, so we have our wings. That black was really nice. It was very pigmented and dark. 
I feel like with some black, sometimes you have to build up the product, but with this one, we had it there. And in case you guys are wondering, like, does she have pink lashes and the ends? Yes, I do. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to be applying the e.l.f. Electric Mood Elixir. This is gorgeous packaging, by the way. And, oh my gosh, this is like actually, okay. So, I thought this elixir was kind of like a um, oil, but it's actually, if you guys can see. Ooh. It's like a shimmery. Oh, okay, it's not too bad, because I was worried that it was gonna be like really intense, but it's actually not bad. It does give me a little bit of some shimmer in there, so. To those people who don't like shimmer in their primers or anything like that, then you probably won't like this. But it's very smooth too, which is good. You can honestly also even mix this in with your foundation if you feel like it's too like glowy or luminous for your taste, just on the bare skin. I'm gonna be taking my favorite CC cream. This is the e.l.f. Camo CC cream. I use this in the shade medium 330 W. And I need to get a new one soon because I literally use this all the time. It is so good. I love it. So I'm just gonna be applying the foundation all over. Elf is always known for coming out with their sponges. So you guys remember they came out with a Chipotle sponge. Um, I don't know if they came out with one other collections but they usually always come out with like a cool sponge but this one is really nice and soft i don't know about the shape though because i feel like for me i like more so of a like like one of these like a little bouncy ball i feel like the elixir really gave my skin that radiance we're gonna move on to our Dissol Cream Face Quad. And here you have two blushes, a bronzer and a highlighter. I'm gonna be taking the bronzer right here. Ooh, it looks like it's gonna be pigmented. Ooh, this is very pigmented. Immediately bronzes up the face, that's for sure. So I think for blush, I kind of want to go in with this shade. I feel like it would be probably a little bit better. And just kind of, ooh, yes, okay. Like, let me not build it too intensely. So I'm just going in with the putty brush and blending that out. Yes, I like that. These cream products are very, very, very pigmented. I would say go in with a more stiff brush to apply the creams because they're so pigmented. So like less is more and then you literally just bounce it up and down to really get that maximum pigmentation and it really gives you that like pop immediately. There's also a highlighting shade here, but let me just go ahead and apply a little bit of it. It gives a pretty soft glow. It's not like extremely intense. It's almost like a glow from within, like a little pop of dew, not so much of like glittery shimmery intensity. I would use your fingers to apply this. It is a little tiny bit more like, I don't wanna say greasy or like oily, but it is a little bit more of that like glossy consistency. But we're gonna go back to the eyes and I'm going to be taking one of the e.l.f. brushes from the new collection and I'm gonna be going back in with the yellow and we're gonna just be applying that yellow right under the lower lash line. And then of course, I do want to apply a little pop of color on the inner tear duct, just because I feel like, I don't know, this this eye is such a like vision that I feel like I just want to go all out with it since we're already here. I wanna go ahead and take this shade right here, which is called God's Grills, and applying it right here. And then we're gonna be taking the e.l.f. new mascara, the Big Mood mascara that they just came out with. This mascara is really nice because it has like this hourglass wand that really allows your lashes to have that amazing length. I actually don't really use mascara, only on my lower lashes because I have lash extensions at the top, so you cannot use both 
Um, but for my lower lashes, it works really good. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention before we move on to the lips? I wanted to talk about the No Budge Shadow Sticks that they came out with, the cream eyeshadow sticks. So you guys know that they did the whole collection, the Electric Mood collection, but there were three different people that they collaborated with. So this one right here is the eyeshadow sticks and I want to swatch these because I really like these. This one's called Bambolina. Bambi, uh, yeah, I think it's called Bambolina. Um, and I wanna show you guys what they look like. Ooh, that's a really pretty brown. Do you see that? Let me come up close. So that's the first one in Bambolina. I think that's how you pronounce it. That'd be like the perfect brown for like every day, like a neutral tone. And then this one is called Spotlight. Ooh, this is pretty. So Bambolina and then Spotlight. Spotlight has a little bit more shimmer to it, almost like a glittery finish. So that would be perfect for like the inner tear duct. Um, and then this one would be perfect for like all over the eyes. And they are perfect for the everyday minimalistic makeup looks. Like they really make everything so easy. Even if you like to do a more dramatic look, you can also use these. But I just feel like they're literally so easy to use that you just apply it all over and you're ready to go. I have here three lippies and then I have a lip liner. So let's start off with these like hydrating bombs. I think there's two of them. Okay, so this is a sheer stick. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a lip product, but it's called Ella and it's like, oh yeah, it's really pretty red. You guys can see. This would be really nice for like a lip balm moment, like when you want like a pop of red, but you don't want it to be really intense. And then this other one is in the shade Sweet Talk, and this is a hydrating balm as well. It looks like this. this one is more so of like a pinky tone, which you guys can see right there. So I may be gearing more towards this with the lip liner, because I feel like this is like too much of a pop. I'll literally look like a lot going on. And then the last one is the lip gloss in the shade Affair. And this lip gloss reminds me a lot of like the Fenty Beauty glosses with the big doe foot applicator. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys what this looks like. Okay, this is like a really pigmented shimmery gloss. That's the gloss and those are the hydrating bombs. So I think I'm gonna do this hydrating bomb in the middle, but that gloss is like super like fun and like it'd be a perfect like lip topper. So if you do like a like matte liquid lipstick or something like that or like a lipstick and you want to add a little bit more of a flare to it that would be a really good product to do that with we're going to be going on with this lip liner this one doesn't have a shade i'm not oh here we go it's called real so i'm going to be applying this all over this lip liner is really nice and dark it's like a brownie tone i'm going in with a hydrating balm Okay, so this is the hydrating balm on the lips and it looks really nice. It is definitely a little bit more sheer than I thought it would be. So I'm just trying my best to blend it out as much as possible with the lip liner. They're actually really pretty together because they give you that kind of like brownie tone lippy and these are extremely hydrating. Like they feel so comfortable on the lips. They will transfer though because it's obviously like a hydrating lip product. It's not like a matte product but together, they're really good. Okay guys, so I have completed the entire look. I am really loving how this entire look came out. I feel like it's the perfect summer vibe, but I feel like the lip kind of just tied it together where it doesn't make it like too out there, but it's like just the perfect pop. So I really love this whole situation. I really think that this new e.l.f. Electric Mood Collection was super fun. It was very different. I love that they included different products from like the brown pomade to they even had this little guy right here that I didn't, where is it? This little guy right here that I didn't even use. I think this is like a glittery like pigment almost that you can put on your body or maybe on your eyes or something. This isn't like my cup of tea, but I just love the fact that they did things like this. I think it made it fun. It made it different from what we also the super shimmery, like fun glittery gloss was really, really pretty when I swatched it. Um, and then you also had those more wearable things that you could purchase from the collection, like I mentioned the shadow sticks. So I definitely do think that the palette overall, I feel like this was like the main element of just the whole Electric Mood collection. I feel like the palette is so fun if you're somebody that really loves to play with color and you really love 
eyeshadows that have glitter, shimmer, the texture, because you get a lot of those fun shadows, but you also get some really nice mattes, which I also really like about this palette, which makes it a good palette for like summer transitioning into fall vibe type of situation. I will say though, if you're not somebody that's used to or comfortable playing with a lot of like glittery eyeshadows or texturized eyeshadows, you may not like this because you do have to like, you know, use your fingers and like really go into like, you know, make those glitters, you know, do its thing. But overall, I really like how it worked. Um, if you're more so of like that natural makeup person, then I would highly recommend checking out the shadow sticks because these two colors are super beautiful, very wearable. I also really did love the little palette. I think this is great. I love the two blushes. They are so beautiful. They really did their thing. I also really liked the bronzer. I felt like it was a really nice pigmented bronzer. I wasn't too sure about the highlighter. I feel like the highlighter kind of gave me a little bit too much of a glow. So I did go ahead and diffuse it out a little bit because I was like, this is just too much for me. But the other three I really did enjoy. Now, as for the lippies, my favorite one you guys saw is the one that I'm wearing right now. This combination is literally everything. Like I really, really love it. I just kind of want to apply a little bit more on because I'm like, yes. Kind of running through briefly everything. Um, the illuminator this one for me wasn't something like oh my gosh you need it um, but I will say that you can do different things that you can apply it alone before you apply makeup you can mix it in with your foundation if you kind of want to add a little bit more so of a glowy look to your foundation or you could just wear it alone without any type of makeup you can also do that or if you want to highlight the high points of your cheek you can definitely do that as well to just really give it the next level pop um, but for me personally, because I do have more so of combination skin and I tend to get super shiny by the end of the day, I prefer to stay away from things like this. Um, but I have to say this packaging is amazing. The brow pyramid I wasn't the most obsessed with because I just didn't really think it did much for my brows personally. And then the last product, of course, is the Big Mood Mascara, which I said I highly recommend this. It's so good. Definitely worth your money. I mean, it's $6 and it's a really amazing mascara. And I have really tiny lashes. And when I tried it, when I didn't have my lash extensions on, I was like... This is good. This is really, really good. So that's pretty much the whole collection of the electric mood that they came out with this summer. I think that they have some really beautiful pieces in here. I think they have something for everybody, which is really good because not everybody likes a super full glam moment, but not everybody likes a super natural moment. So I think they really did do a good distribution of things for people that like you know, full glam and people that like more natural. I really hope that perhaps I inspired you guys to want to check out the collection, which you can find at Target right now. If you guys did enjoy watching this video where I tried the whole collection, please give this video a big thumbs up. Let's me know to continue doing these types of videos for you guys. I've really been enjoying doing tutorials where I sit down and try new makeup. So if that's something that you guys enjoy watching as much as I enjoy making these videos, then please, please support this video. Thumbs it up comment down below so that more people can view the video. Um, and I think that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So I hope that you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.